It is designed to explode if any attempt is ever made to untrigger it. Automatically. Ah, it's an obvious commie trick, Mr. President. We're wasting valuable time. Look at the big boy. They're getting ready to clobber us. The swinging 60s were a time of crazy style and hilarious comedy. What's with the little kitty bicycle? What are you, some kind of a nut? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 comedies of the 1960s. <laughs> For our series on the top comedies of all time, we've chosen comedy films per decade based on their iconic status, critical acclaim, box office success, watchability, and, of course, how funny they are. <laughs> this is part of a series of videos spanning the decades of comedic films from the 1930s to the 2000s. I'm the haunted one, the devil. Let me give you my card. Number 10, Be Dazzled. Back in the swinging 60s, the comedy pairing of Dudley Moore and Peter Cook was all the rage. You're quite right, of course. An updated take on the Faustian tale, Bedazzled pits Cook as the devil against Moore as Stanley Moon, in a story that sees the latter selling his soul to the former for happiness. Is there anything in the world you really desire? What follows is a hilarious sequence of what-if type sketches, in which Moon sees what his life would be like under different terms. Would you? Help me with my buttons. I seem to be off thumbs this morning. While the film wasn't an instant classic, it slowly gained a cult following over the years thanks to its acting, smarts, and laughs. Do you want me to come in with you on it? Or um, do, you, do, you, do you wish to pull out? Or should we just call the whole thing? Um... <sighs> Number nine. The apartment. It's not Picasso I'm calling about. It's the key to my apartment. You're supposed to leave it under the mat. Jack Lemmon was also a hot property back in the 60s, and this comedy drama manages to balance his pitch-perfect comedic timing with the actor's more vulnerable side. I decided to become a mensch. You know what that means? A human being. While the apartment stays mostly within the realms of the possible, the movie does go over the top and even screwball at times. And that's just the way Lemon likes it. How many drinks did you have? Three! <laughs> I thought so. The result is a comedy classic with risque themes that managed to pull off five Oscar wins out of a total ten nominations. You take a girl out a couple of times a week just for laughs, and right away she thinks you're getting serious, marriage-wise. <laughs> Big shot! For you, I wouldn't lift a finger. But for her, I'll fix a little something to eat. Those icy fingers up and down my spine The same old witchcraft when your eyes meet mine Number 8, The Nutty Professor They have very, very good taste, I might add. Before Eddie Murphy portrayed an entire cast of characters in the 90s remake, there was this flick starring Jerry Lewis. Uh, this is Julius. Yeah, I could... Julius. Jay, yes, you suck. Lewis, as Dr. Julius Kelp, becomes a Jekyll and Hyde type character when he ingests a strange elixir and transforms into the suave and sophisticated Buddy Love. Here's my date. That sharp looking chick's my date. Before special effects and fat suits, Lewis had to play two completely different characters purely based on his acting skills and a couple of costume changes. Ah, uh, that is. Uh... Class dismissed. The result is a hilarious comic sci-fi tale about a scientist who strives to become more. I think that'll be it for a while, uh, kids. Uh, no. Number seven. It's a mad, 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 mad world. Hey, baby, that's what I'm here for. Me. That's why you had me, Mama, to save you. The funniest comedians of the time were assembled to create this gut-busting epic comedy about a group of treasure hunters trying to outrun each other to collect a hidden fortune. I know where it is. It's under a big W, that's what he said. It's under a big W, like a windmill or a waterfall or something like that. The ensemble comedy's pairing of actors, like Mickey Rooney and Buddy Hackett, make for some of the most hilarious scenes in cinema history. What do you mean, who's flying the plane? Nobody's flying the plane. The premise is simple, but allows for each separate actor to stretch their comedy muscles and make this an Oscar-winning, critically acclaimed, and box office hit. <laughs> Number six, The Odd Couple. Listen, you want to talk to me, buddy? Put down that spoon. Yeah, spoon! 
<laughs> you dumb ignoramus, that is a ladle. You did not know that's a ladle. Mix Walter Matthau's always grumpy disposition. If I've just been told off, I think I may have missed it. And Jack Lemmon's wild personality. Stupid damned idiot. And what do you get? Not your average couple, that's for sure. We are what we are. This film's comedy comes from the contrasting interplay between its two divorced male characters as they begin to take on roles similar to that of husband and wife. I didn't know I irritated you that much. Leave my pictures alone. In contrast to the black comedy's title, the two actors and comedians actually make the perfect pair here. <laughs> At least they do when it comes to knowing how to get the critics raving and movie watchers rolling in the aisles. Oh, Felix, 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 Felix. I know, I know, I know, I know. Do you want to no, thank you. Number five, the party. Oh, do, sir. Well, I'm on a diet, but to hell with it. <laughs> Peter Sellers was a man of a thousand faces, and he never fails to put a smile on ours. Birdie, num, num. This Blake Edwards-directed film was very much a vehicle for his improv skills and brilliant physical humor. From the opening scene to the very last shot, Sellers plays a clumsy Indian actor who Pratt falls and sputters his way through a Hollywood party to which he was inadvertently invited. But I can tell from the way that you are enjoying yourselves, it must have been a very humorous anecdote. The result is many an awkward conversation. Tonight is one big round of laughter. All fun and laughter. Multiple hilarious misunderstandings. Well, just enough to get myself into trouble. <laughs> and a cult comedy classic. Anyway, I have to get back to feed Opu. Opu? Yes, my monkey. Oh. <laughs> Number four, The Producers. Max, let's call it a night. It's two in the morning. I don't know what I'm reading anymore. Read, read. We've got to find the worst play ever written. Mel Brooks' very first theatrical effort foreshadows his meteoric rise in the comedy genre. Remarkable. Remarkable. The Producers is a riot from start to finish, thanks to hilarious performances from Gene Wilder and Zero Mostel. I have taken steps to make sure that springtime for Hitler will be a total disaster. As Leo Bloom and Max Bialystok. You're working with Max Bialystok, right? The actors play two conniving men who are attempting to produce a play that'll be a flop in order to make more money. But under the right circumstances, a producer could make more money with a flop than he could with a hit. Complete with crazy and colorful musical numbers that continue to impress even to this day. The dark comedy is an enticing satire and tons of fun. Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me. <laughs> Number three, The Graduate. Aren't you? If you want to take a break from the slapstick comedies of the decade, this film starring Dustin Hoffman in his breakout role should do the trick. Mrs. Robinson, I can't do this. You what? This is all terribly wrong. Do you find me undesirable? Oh, no, Mrs. Robinson. I think, I think you're the most attractive of all my parents' friends. I mean that. Instead of sight gags and puns, the Graduate gets the job done with subtle satire and wonderful Oscar-nominated performances. What are you going to do now? I was going to go upstairs for a minute. Oh, I meant with your future. Your life. Well, that's a little hard to say. And Bancroft is enchanting as the older woman, who alternately tries to seduce Hoffman's character and ruin his life. I'll get undressed now, is that all right? Sure. It's funny, sharp, and touching. Point is, I don't love your wife, I love your daughter, sir. Number two. The Pink Panther. But Jack, I thought you were on your way to... That phone call was a ruse. Oh dear! It was his role as the bumbling inspector Jacques Clouseau that catapulted Peter Sellers to international fame as a comedic actor. What are you suggesting? Sellers may have only been a supporting actor in The Pink Panther. Correct? Yes. No, no, not correct. Of course not correct. Of course. But his scene-stealing performance as the inept officer who pratfalls his way through a mystery that has everyone else baffled is what made the film such a classic. It's no mistake that it spawned a cartoon series and many sequels, including 1964's equally successful A Shot in the Dark. I have a plan. What sort of plan? A plan that cannot possibly fail. Before we unveil our pick for comedy of the 1960s, here are a few honorable mentions. He wants nothing more than to belong, if only to a street gang. It is here he thinks he will prove his manhood. This is 
que c'est une tragédie ou une comédie Avec les femmes, on ne sait jamais. Un spot de rhum avant d'entrer en action est toujours permissible. C'est un brandy. Same effect. You? Oh, no, no, thank you. Uh, some of this nerve tonic. Number one, Dr. Strangelove or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. Gentlemen, you can't fight in here. This is the war room. Stanley Kubrick was the master of genre-bending films, and this Cold War pre-apocalyptic political black comedy is widely regarded as one of his greatest efforts. Mr. President, it is not only possible, it is essential. While the movie isn't outright hilarious, Who are you? the intense performances by all the supporting actors, in contrast to Peter Sellers' own master of disguise style of comedy, Monsieur! are genuinely funny and cement Dr. Strangelove as a cinematic piece of art. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? Well, if you say so. What's your favorite 1960s comedy? Didn't sink in until just this minute. For more hilarious top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Well, I'm glad that you're enjoying yourselves because you're going to be here for the next 20 years.